So, Katie, the reason why your team has to establish a new identity is because, you know, as you said, this is a brand new back line, essentially, and you have a lot of new faces across the field. And part of that is, is that not only have, have players graduated, they're also playing professionally and for national teams. And like, first of all, I got a two part question. What's it like to, to have your teammates have all this success? after after graduation and after Stamper women's soccer does that make you like eager to get out there or does it just you know it restore your pride or, or increase your pride in the program and then the second part of that is what is it like to be the one left behind the one who's still here and and the, to be the one who is continuing the legacy but you know has to watch all these players that you won a national championship with last year go on to I wouldn't say bigger and better things but different things Oh my God, that is such a good question. Um, it's It's been interesting. I will not lie to you. It was really hard to watch um, the draft this year and know that I wasn't going. Um, the weird thing is, is I still have three more years of eligibility. So technically I'm a redshirt sophomore, but I'm a junior in college and I could be here for three more seasons should I choose to take them. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. So there's a lot of potential options, but I'm really happy to be here and be with my team. But it was it was really, really amazing. I mean, we're all sitting here in our hallway in our dorm and we're watching like Kiki get drafted and Maddie get drafted and knowing that Kat had signed to play with Leon. I mean, those accomplishments are insane. And to be like, oh, that's that's just Kat. Like, she sits next to me in the locker room. Like, that's one of my best friends. Like, we've been through so much together. And be like, oh, yeah, like, Maddie's going to Chicago. Like, that's Mad Dog. And just, like, to have those be your best friends and just to watch them do amazing things. I mean, bottom line is it's inspiring. Like, I'm like, I want to do that. Like, I want to follow you. And, like, I want to follow in your footsteps. So it's amazing to watch them do those things. It makes me absolutely confident that anyone in this program could – go pro could play for the national team and could just change the face of women's soccer. I mean, Kat's potential to become the next face of us soccer is insane. And she did so much just in college that now to like watch her do it with the full national team, it feels like it's been like this vision that we've all had here at the program for the past four years. And now it's finally coming into, into its own life. And it's, it's awesome to watch. So I couldn't be, I couldn't be anything else but happy for them. Like, Watching Cats games with the national team over like since January has just been so exciting. We're like screaming in the hallway, like Cat scored, Cat starting. Like we're just, it's so amazing. It adds a whole new level of fun to it when we know so many girls in this national team lineup. It's like, okay, well, there's Alana, like she was captain my freshman year, and there's Tierna, like, and just it's it's so exciting. And to watch like even some older like alumni like Kristen Pratt and Jane Campbell, like just become stars on these teams it's it's amazing and it it just restores my like pride in the program and my confidence that you know someday it could be me um that being said it is a little bit hard to be the one left behind i mean us as a junior class here we were so close with the seniors and we were so close with last year's seniors who have now all graduated and it's given me a new sense of responsibility because I mean, last season, I was the redshirt freshman goalkeeper. I was still trying things out. Um, and yeah, I was supposed to be a leader because I was a goalkeeper on the field and the goalkeeper is supposed to be one, the one calling the shots. But I felt pretty inexperienced, especially after a redshirt season. I wouldn't say I was my most confident. And I made a lot of mistakes and like, that's okay. And I was a sophomore. So I just felt like an underclassman and now like, watching our seniors from last year like Carly Malatsky and like Sam Tran and even Lauren Rude just like graduate and especially Sam Hyatt too like watching them all graduate and move on and then watching the juniors become seniors and like Kat leave it's just like oh I'm a junior now like it's time for me to start looking to these sophomores and freshmen and being like this is the team like we need to do this or else no one else will there's no more upperclassmen to fall back on it's it's now my and my class's responsibility as juniors and as true upperclassmen with the seniors to dictate how this year is going to go and so there's been new responsibility but it's 
it's been tough to be the one left behind for sure. And I miss those girls, but it also just, you know, that new responsibility is awesome. It's a responsibility that I'm really honored to have. And I'm excited to see how these younger players can step up just like my class did when we were the younger players. And I mean, it's just kind of this cycle of like constantly getting new players in and letting old players go. And that's the beauty of college soccer.